When I say the top five bulwarker exercises, what I mean is that these are my top five favorite bulwarker exercises. It's just my personal opinion. But these exercises, I find them so good and they are so unparalleled to anything else you can do in the gym for the same muscle groups that I include them in all of my programs. So they are really good in my honest opinion. And some of my uh, well-developed muscle groups like my shoulders, uh, my lats, the development of uh, those muscle groups, I definitely have a lot of that to thank for um, to my bull worker. So today I'll just show you my five favorite exercises with a bull worker. So the first one is really simple. It's probably the most simple exercise that you can do with a bull worker. Just grab it here and just spread it like this. Now you can do the classic hold where you just keep it isometrically. But I recommend you to do reps first, so you can kind of burn up the muscle. So just do like 15 reps, and then you just hold it for 15 seconds. Well, or 7 seconds. Usually to say 7 seconds. Uh, if you're more advanced, you can do, you can hold it longer until the muscle is just burned up and you can't hold it up anymore. Now there are a few variations of this exercise. You can change the angle, where you put more emphasis on your traps. Right, like this. Or you can keep it up more upwards and you can put up more emphasis on your mid back. But um, I typically just do the normal variant where I just work my uh, shoulders. And I think that mostly, most of the definition on my shoulders, the roundness of my shoulders, most of that I have to thank to the bull worker. Um, there's just no exercise that comes close to um, to how much the bull worker isolates these muscles, at least from what I found. Um, even like doing rows or whatever, this just puts a whole other level of tension on the back of your shoulders. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is for the lats. I might as well do this video shirtless, right? <laughs> For the lats, it's so very simple, you grab it here, you put it on the ground, make sure it's nice and steady, and you pull downwards. Again, same deal, you do a few reps or you just keep it down for as long as you can. And again, this puts such a level of tension on your uh, lats, it can't be recreated by, um, by doing pull-ups or something like that. At least that's what I found. Um, now, for some people, they don't have the grip to to keep it down here. So what what else you can do is you can uh, put your hands on top and you can basically do the same thing, right? Let's keep it down. So another thing that you can do um, to make it uh, harder is make sure that it's steady, that it's nice and steady, that it can't slip away. Right, like let me show you. Um, oh fuck, <laughs> damn. Right, that it's nice and steady, that can't slip away. And what you're gonna do is uh, very simple. Keep it like this, pull it down, and pull it back in, right? You can also do it like this, pull it down, push it back in, get it back, let it come up. Pull it back down. And that puts a lot of tension on your lats, I can tell you. Um, the dirt one. I mean, I don't really usually include this one, but it's still effective. It's one of the most standard exercises for the, the bull worker that you can do. What you can do is... Um, so this is for the chest, of course. So uh, what, what else you can do, what I usually do is, um, I usually don't wrap this one. I just put, a, put tension on the chest and I move it around, controlled and slowly. <laughs> 
And uh, yeah, it's a very way effective way to uh, isolate the chest muscles. Um, now I would say that there are exercises that come close to putting that much emphasis on the chest. So again, this one I usually don't use it. Um, forward up, forward is uh, basically doing crunches with the bull worker. So you simply put it on the ground, make sure it's nice and steady, and you push downwards. And you put emphasis on your abs. Show you, let me see if I can show you another angle. Right, just like this. Again, I wrap it and then I just do this. Uh, you can also sit on your knees. Same thing. This puts uh, this puts a different level of stress on your abs. And it's very effective. It's a very effective way to isolate the abs. It certainly is a lot more challenging than uh, normal crunches. And you can even make it a strength exercise where you're just <clears throat> try to push as much power uh, on the bull worker as you possibly can. And you know, this thing is heavy, don't underestimate it. At least this version of the bull worker. Um, and last up, one for the legs. Uh, this is the only exercise to do with the legs actually, uh, with, with the bull worker. Is uh, yeah, I put it around my knees and I just pull my knees outwards. Put some emphasis on the outside of the legs, but also on your uh, buttocks, on your, um, well, on your glutes. Uh, most, uh, you really feel it on the outside of your uh, glutes. So, I don't really, I'm not quite sure exactly what part of the glutes is um, targeted specifically. Uh, like, I don't really know the name. I don't really know how it develops the ass, but it certainly is a good way to strengthen the ass. So, um, I really like this exercise. It's probably one of my favorite uh, leg exercises. Um, because, yeah, again, it. It actually works quite a lot of muscles for the legs. And um, those are my top five uh, favorite exercises. Well, I haven't done it in the right order, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. All of these are very effective and I would definitely recommend you to use all of these in your program. Thanks for watching.